In this video, I'll be showing you the best soundboard for PC. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like. And let's jump straight into this guide. Here we are on my desktop and let's get right into this guide. So the first thing you need to do is go and open up your browser. In this case, I'm using Google Chrome, um, but you can use any browser you would like. Then come to a search engine. Now the soundboard I want to show you is a great application and it doesn't only just for a soundboard, it also has voice changes as well, which are really useful. Um, anyways, what it's called is voice mod. So type then V O I C E M O D, all one word, just like so, and hit enter. Then make sure you go to the official website, which is voicemod.net. As you can see, it's a free real time voice changer and modulator and soundboard. And here we are on the website. And just to quickly explain that there is a paid version of voice mod, but we're going to use the free version in this guide. But of course, go and pay for it if you want, and you do get access to more features. But the main primary features are free, which is really great. So go and tap on get voice mod free, and you will need to go and sign in with one of your accounts here, or you can just go and enter your email and go and create an account. And then once you've signed in, the voice mod installer is going to automatically download. And in my case, because I'm using Google Chrome, it appears in the bottom left, but every browser is slightly different where downloads are going to be, but you can always go and find your downloads in your file explorer in the downloads folder. So go and open that up there and then we can go and run the installer just like so, and we can go and close off of your browser as well. And now let's go and choose our language, which is English for me, and then I'll tap OK. Then let's just go and install this. There's going to be a few settings. I've already read the agreement um, and then you can choose where you want it to be installed. That is fine with me. And then I want all of this stuff and then I'm going to press next, then press install and it's now installing. And then once it's finished installing, it will say completing the voice mod setup wizard. Then you can tap finish and voice mod is going to go and automatically launch. When you first go and open up voice mod, you're going to be on the voice box page, which is basically um, the voice changer page for voice mod. But of course, we really want to get to the soundboard page. So what you need to do is come over to the left hand side and go tap on soundboard, just like so. And now here it is. So when you first go and tap on soundboard, you're going to be on the My Soundboard page. As you can see, we've got three different um, sounds here. But the best part about this page is, is we can go and import your own sounds. So all you need to do is tap on this button here and your file explorer will open. And then you can go and import MP3 files and WAV files directly from your computer. So if you go and download any sounds, then you can go and import them and then they're going to appear here. But there's also loads more sounds on here as well. So go and tap on the prankster sounds. As you can see, they're all here. And all you need to do is tap on it and then it's going to go and play. And if you want to go and stop it, just press stop and it's going to instantly go and stop it. But it's important to note that you do need to go and set up voice mod in each application you want to go and use it in and I'll show you exactly how. So for example, you may want to go and use it in Discord. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it in Discord. But the settings I'm going to show you all pretty much apply uh, for each application and I'll explain how to do it in different applications as well. So if you're using Discord or another application, then go and open it up and then go to the settings of the application. In Discord, just click in the bottom left on user settings. Then what we need to do is go to the sound and, and voice settings for the app. So in Discord, scroll down to app settings and go to voice and video. Now what's the really important thing is, is that you go and, you go and choose the input device for that application, whether it be Skype, whether it be a game, whether it be Discord, you need to go and set the input device. This is the really important thing. And make sure you go and select voice mod virtual audio device. That's really important because because now all the sound that's going into voice mod is our microphone and the soundboard is now going to be transferred into discord because we've gone and selected it as the input device. Now that's the main thing you need to do for other applications. And I want to go and show you some specific settings for discord, but these settings may not go and apply for other applications, but they may still be useful. So the other settings you need to go um, and make sure you change for discord is you need to go and disable input sensitivity um, and manually go and set the input sensitivity and just set it to minus 60. I'm pretty sure this is the default one but it's the one I use and it works fine and then scroll down um, on discord and then what you need to do is go under voice processing and disable echo cancellation just like so go and disable it and then come down to noise suppression and make sure that is set to none this basically means it's going to keep all the background noise from your mic and this is because sometimes sounds on the soundboard um, discord for some reason detect as background noise so make sure it's set to none now when you go and join a call or just a server on discord and you play a sound from the voice board then everything's going to sound absolutely fine so if i go into voice mod now for example um, i'd go and press done here just to get rid of that then go and choose the sound you want to go and play if i was in a discord call for example nuclear i'd then go and tap on it and then it would go and start playing in the discord call um, or the server or any application which you've then gone and set uh, voice mod virtual audio device to be the input as long as you set voice mod virtual audio device to be the input device for that application um, for its sound it's going to go and hear every sound you play on the soundboard it's one of the best soundboards for your pc so yeah if you guys found this guide useful please go down below and consider leaving a like peace